So I used to uh, be a minister in Manchester at a church with quite a lot of students, uh, recent graduates, people who worked in the city. We were a city centre church. And then three years ago, moved down to rural North Norfolk to lead a new church um, in Wroxham and Hoverton. The differences between the two situations, in, in one sense, they're huge. Um, the things that we've noticed about the rural setting is that People are dispersed, which makes hanging out together as a church family more difficult. It makes popping in harder. We always used to have students dropping around our house to say hi, to read the Bible, to catch up. Um, now people have to get in the car often to visit one another, and that makes church community a bit harder. People also are less mobile, which means that you don't have Christians moving into the area. And one of the things that we had a lot in Manchester was growth through Christians not moving from other churches within Manchester but moving to Manchester and joining us at church. We've not had that in Norfolk and and that has been very hard mainly because of my sin. Um, I am proud and I want to be a successful church planter. I want people to think that I can grow churches and moving to Norfolk has made me realised that actually a lot of our growth in Manchester was not through people being saved, but through people joining us who were already Christians. So I think in Norfolk we've seen as many saved in our first three years as we did in Manchester, but we've grown by four or five, whereas in Manchester we grew from seven to about 50 or 60 in the same amount of time. So it felt a lot more exciting. I, I'm not sure it's harder though. Um, it's been harder because it's exposed my sin and that has been hard um, and I am a more proud man than I realised. Uh, but in, in many, well, in every way I'm grateful for that. Um, the Lord's drawn me close to himself as he's shown me how to repent of that. In other ways things are, are very similar. Um, hearts are hard. People can only be saved by the gospel of Christ being preached and taught. Um, people are not naturally interested in Christianity. People are a long way back um, and, and we struggle to, to proclaim Christ, to, to teach him rightly, to give people a right sense of who he is. Um, and that's no different. Hearts are hard, sinners are sinners and the gospel is true and Christ is good and it is the power of God for salvation for those who believe. So, so I think that the mobility issue has been perhaps the most obvious. Um, on the flip side of that though, people move away less. So we've seen huge growth in Christlikeness among the church without the frustrations of people you've got to know, you've been discipling, who've become great encouragements, then moving away for work or for study. So I think in that sense, it's been, it's been easier and better. One of the things that has struck me though, particularly, and this is, I guess, a, a plea, if you're part of an urban church or a suburban church watching this. A lot of Christians who move to the countryside, or Christians who move to the countryside sometimes do so for poor reasons. They're, they're leaving um, a church family for the good life, for the, the bigger garden, for the nicer house, for the leafy village. Um, and that can often be a concern to, to urban pastors. But but a lot of their, their fellows will be doing that. Their colleagues at work will be moving out as they have kids, as they get a bit older, as they get promoted, they'll be looking to move out to the villages. And if you've got people in your churches who, who may enjoy that, then, then see if you can send them to a church plant in the country. Send them as evangelists to those, their peers who are leaving the cities for the leafy rural areas. Um, we... We've been praying this year for five more families to join us as a church because we have amazing opportunities in the community with the local Sure Start Children's Centre where we have a great partnership with local schools, with community groups, and we simply don't have the people to take up the opportunities we've got. Um, we've been praying the Lord would send more workers to us to be able to take those opportunities. A quarter of the population of England lives in rural areas in Europe, it's about a half, which means that if we're going to evangelise England successfully, and certainly if we're going to re-evangelise Europe, we need to work out how to plant churches in rural areas. That means people going and doing it. It means people leaving city centre churches and moving to rural church plants. 
Um, so if you've got people in your church who might even enjoy that, then, then free them to do it. Send them to Norfolk.